Okay, we've got a review of the Casio G-Shock DW6600, 6600. Um, you can see this one's well used. We got a little bit of polyurethane finish. We got some kind of grease gunked up in here, a little bit of sawdust. There's water spots on the crystal. A little bit of wear on the top. This has gotten a little bit of use. Um, basically, I'm real pleased with it. Uh, this one is a little bit larger. You can see the side profile. Uh, this is considerably larger than the 5600, which is the base model square G-Shock. Uh, this has a few different things that are real nice about it. The first one is, if you like being able to use the, be able to read the thing in the dark, this button right here, it's not going to show here in the daylight. Um, but anyway, this is the button for the nightlight. Nice little feature, it's real easy to find in the dark. Um, which is nice if you're out in the middle of nowhere, sleeping in a dark tent, dark cabin, whatever. It's real nice to be able to see if it's midnight or four in the morning. Anyway, this one has buttons that are a little easier to access and use. Um, maybe an issue for some people, may not. It has the standard functions that you'd expect from a G-Shock uh, as far as the day and date. And then it's got an alarm and countdown timers, stopwatch with the delayed start, and then the pretty much standard features. Anyway, uh, let's see. I really like this watch because it seems to wear well and just get out of the way. I'm sorry, I'll have to put a weight in the annotations. Um, but basically, even though it's a larger watch, you don't even know it's on. It just seems to get out of the way. It's there when you need it. Tells the time. It seems to keep time, uh, real good time. Uh, one other thing is this module is different, even from the 5600 seems to be a little bit more intuitive to use as far as setting the time and the alarm, the stopwatch and that. So that's one more thing. If you had the 5600 but you had any issues as far as um, the buttons were a little harder to get to, some might have preferred that. Um, if you didn't much care for the way the module was set up, whatever, this might be an option to look at. A little bit bigger watch. One of the reasons I shied away from it was because of its physical size, but all in all not an issue. It's nice and light. Um, it's been real resistant to pretty much everything. It wears well, it's nice and cool as long as you don't cinch it down. You can see there's plenty of places for air to flow underneath the band. It's been a real nice little watch. Uh, this is a Suntow Clipper. Nice little watch band compass. It fits on this. Um, the major issue being this is as far up as it's going to go because of this tapered band. But pairs up with the watch really well for a quick read on direction. If you're trying to figure out, um, I guess if you're coming or going, this might be a nice little tool. You need at least a uh, probably about a seven inch wrist to be able to make this work because of where the holes line up but all in all it works real well with it so take a look if you're interested in watch it just does what it's supposed to without any fiddling or twitching with it um, this might be one to take a look at have a good day